Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashwini and today we are going to see the next lab program algorithm and flowchart. So this is the lab program of first PUC computer science. So this is the question, I will just tell the question. Write a C program to find the total amount has to be input by the user. If the total amount is greater than 1000 rupees, then the user is going to get 8% of discount. If it is less than 1000, then there is no discount. So this is the question. So let us see the algorithm. So first step will be start. The next step will be inputting the total amount. So that is the step 2. Next step is step 3. So here we have two conditions. One, less than, if the total amount is less than 1000, then there is no discount. The next is, if the total amount is greater than 1000, then you are going to get 8% of discount. So step 3 and step 4 is that. So step 3, I am going to read out. Assume that the total amount of the bill is less than 1000, then there is no discount. So we are going to give discount is equal to 0 in the program. Next, step 4. If the total amount is greater than 1000, then allow 8% of discount for the bill that is generated. So, for that, we are going to give the condition. If amount is greater than 1000, then the formula to find discount is, discount is equal to total amount into 8 divided by 100. So, in step 4, we have seen 8% discount. So, 8% means 8 divided by 100. Divide by 100 is percentage. So, when you want to calculate the percentage, then whatever the number you get, that number divided by 100. So, here it is 8%. So, 8 divided by 100. So, discount is equal to total amount into 8 divided by 100. This is how you are going to find the discount. So, next step will be computing the total amount that has to be paid by the user. So, total amount is equal to final amount minus the discount. Here, final amount is nothing but your total amount. You check. So, if you have built 1010 rupees, then 1010 rupees minus the discount, 8% of discount. So, whatever discount is calculated in the step 4 so whatever the discount you get that will be substituted in the place of discount so whatever the answer you get that will be your final amount that has to be paid imagine if it is 110 rupees sorry 1010 rupees so discount might be 8 rupees uh, 80 rupees or 82 rupees when you minus 1010 rupees minus 80 rupees Whatever the answer you get, that will be your final amount that has to be paid by the user. So, step 6 is displaying the final amount. So, display final amount. The last step, step 7 is stop. So, this is the algorithm. Now, let us convert this algorithm into the flowchart. The step 1 was start. So, start we have given input total amount. Initially, we had discount is equal to 0. So, that we have written. Now, we have the condition is amount greater than 1000. So, if it is true, the condition is true, then it will calculate the discount. Discount is equal to total amount into 0 0.08. That is nothing but 8 divided by 100. Whatever the answer you get, that will be stored in discount. Then it comes to the next step and it will calculate Final amount is equal to total amount minus discount. So, this is the condition. If it is less than 1000, directly it will come to the display part and it will display the final amount. So, if it is greater than 1000, it will calculate all these things and it will come to the display part and it will display the final amount. The last step is stop. So, this is the algorithm and flowchart of this particular program. I hope you understood each and every step. If you like this video, please hit a like. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you have any doubts, please leave a comment.
Thank you.